This is the People's Radio News for the week ending the 1st of July, 2953. This week's report comes with mixed feelings from the nearby Stanton system. Yes, folks, the day has finally come. Port Olisar, the first space station in the Stanton system, is about to be decommissioned. While this was known for several years, Crusader Industries confirmed this week that the beloved space station Port Olisar is bidding farewell to the stars within the next 30 to 45 days. While Port Olisar served the Stanton system faithfully for many years, it lacks the modern amenities most have grown accustomed to, a medical clinic, food court, galleria shopping area, and docking collars for larger starships. It's a relic of a bygone era, and though many are sentimental, most seem to agree that its time has come. The replacement for Port Olisar, the Seraphim Station, has been under construction for some time and is now nearing completion. It promises to offer all the amenities missing from Port Olisar and more, making it a welcome upgrade. Yet, the decommissioning of Port Olisar isn't being met with universal acclaim. For many, it's not about the amenities or the upgrades, it's about nostalgia. The old station holds a special place in the hearts of many Stanton System residents. A symbol of simpler times and pioneering spirit. For more on this, we cross to our Stanton System correspondent, Jade. After years of service as a transfer hub for traders, explorers, and spacefarers alike, Port Olisar will be decommissioned to make way for the modern and state-of-the-art Seraphim Station. As the decommissioning date looms, there's a mix of emotions amongst the populace here in Stanton and controversy among a number of voices on Spectrum. The station, which has served as a gateway for countless journeys, is seen by many as a nostalgic emblem of the early days of the Stanton system's colonization. However, it's been lacking in the modern amenities that many space travelers have come to expect. Seraphim Station, which is nearing completion, promises to fill that gap with a state-of-the-art medical clinic, a food court that will be serving delicacies from across the galaxy a gallery, a shopping area, and docking collars that can accommodate even the largest of starships. I felt it was only right that our listeners hear thoughts on this important moment directly from Stanton residents and travelers. I had Kai Zen here with me, a local from Stanton, who shared his thoughts on the change. So Kai, what are your feelings about Port Olisar's decommissioning? Well, uh, I live on Port Erebus, just to clarify. Um, I came here to visit the old lady one last time before she's decommissioned. I think that this is a tragic day for the first. Um, I think that uh, the Stanton system has been well served by this station as the first station in system before all of the companies came in and set up all of their planetary freeholds and whatnot. And uh, I think that Port Alizar is the heart of Stanton, the soul. And, uh, and I think that this is a sad day for, for the Stanton system. Okay, and what about this new station, Seraphim? You know, it does have modern amenities. Uh, do you think that it will be a suitable replacement? Well, um, once, uh, years ago, I made it to uh, Old Earth. And uh, when, when I was there, I saw the city of Edo. And it was, uh, it was classically beautiful with castles going back to the 16th century. And, uh, and then after that, I went to New York. And I've got to say that there's some to be said for the classics. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. In Orison, I happened to meet a woman who had a close history with the station, having grown up there. I have Anastasia here with me, a local worker for Crusader, who shared her thoughts on the upcoming change. Anastasia, you mentioned you grew up on Port Olisar after your parents helped construct it. What are your feelings about Port Olisar's decommissioning? To be honest, Jade, I won't miss it that much. I mean, sure, I grew up there and have fond memories of running through the corridors as a child, excitedly leaping over the railing to the ASOP terminals to retrieve my Aurora in my teens and my parents had a hand in building it. But it's nearly 100 years old. Don't get me wrong, it has its place in history. But it's high time we moved on to something better. I'm looking forward to having access to proper medical facilities and a variety of shops at Seraphim Station. We need a space station that can provide for our modern needs. I understand the sentimentality, but sentiment doesn't provide medical facilities or better docking collars for larger ships. Thanks so much for that insight and for your time, Anastasia. Next, I have with me someone new to the Stanton system who only recently visited Port Olisar for the first time. I'm talking with a citizen named Hunter who has some thoughts on the decommissioning of Port 
all a star. So what are your thoughts? To be honest with you, I wasn't really impressed. I had a long journey, you know. I came over from Lorville, and we had a layover. I was supposed to stop over, and all is here to make my way over to Orson here. And I was like, cool, you know, we get to see the oldest historical port. We get there, long flight, expecting, you know, maybe it might have some kind of accommodations for feed. Boy, was I wrong. And then stepped there for a couple hours, and no medical services, no feed. Looked around, the view was beautiful. Don't get me wrong, most beautiful view ever. Just a lack of accommodations. Okay, I hope when they build this new part, they really decide to make some better accommodations. It's just a really nice cafeteria like we got here in Orison. Well, Hunter, enjoy the rest of your time here at Orison and in Stanton. So as you've heard, there is an air of anticipation about what the new station has to offer. But it's also clear that for many, it's a bittersweet farewell. For them, Port Olisar will always hold a special place as Stanton's first space station, a symbol of the beginnings of this star system's journey from a frontier system into that ever-growing fully industrialized commercial hub of the UEE. Perhaps it can be made into a sort of museum, sort of like a frozen space in time. With some cryptic words from Crusader Industries CEO Kelly Kaplan about the ultimate fate of the station following decommissioning, only time will tell. Reporting from Stanton, I'm Jade Starwatcher. Back to you, Levski. Thanks, Jade. Excellent report as always. So, there you have it, folks. As we bid goodbye to Port Alisar, we'll look forward to hearing more about Seraphim Station once it's operational. To our listeners, whether it's nostalgia or anticipation that fills your heart, a new chapter is beginning in Stanton. As always, we'll keep you updated on this and all other developments from our corner of the cosmos. For the People's Radio News, I'm Wade Cineros. Fly safely wherever your travels take you. 